before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my instagram if we look together as a visa policy of yemen just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and it will show you the visa policy map of yemen and you can see that there are few countries that can travel to yemen without uh, and getting the visa on arrival like egypt saudi arabia uh, oman syria algeria uh, Malaysia for the rest of the world you will have to apply for visa before traveling to Yemen to fill the visa application form for Yemen you can find the, the visa application form here just click over this link this page will appear in front of you in the, the consulate section okay uh, and here applications and forms and down there click on visas application and you can, as you can see, this is the visa application form for Yemen. You will have to download it to fill it completely manually by yourself. And in the end, you'll have to write uh, the date and the signature. Then you will have to take it along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video and submit it to the embassy of Yemen in your country. So to submit the visa application form for Yemen, just click over this link over here. This page will appear in front of you and it will show you a list of the embassies and the consulates of Yemen all over uh, the world. All what you need is to uh, click on uh, the country and you will find all the details, uh, the address, the phone numbers, uh, the email. The first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport. Make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details and your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport at least make sure you have three photocopies sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamps pages and the other visas you have in your passport you will also need to submit personal pictures make sure that your picture is new not older than six months with a white background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details you will also need a visa application form this visa application form could be filled and submitted online other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer then printed and signed and other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually all depend on your destination and the type of the visa you're applying for you will also need to submit a proof of status if you are an employee then you will need to bring an hr letter from your company and this hr letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well if you are a business owner then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business if you are a student then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter if you're a minor then your father and mother your parents should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them if you are jobless then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of funds sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality uh, in that case you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country you will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds it should cover the last six month uh, movement of your account and it should be signed and stamped by your bank number eight is your flight reservation it should be around the trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it will be okay to submit a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make 
both of them the confirm ticket and the dummy ticket number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it could be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, it, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another